What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Dream Cancel Podcast, and this is episode eight of Dream Cancel Live. My name is Desmond De La Ghetto, and today's topic is how to fix your execution problems when playing KOF 13. We're going to get into a lot of kind of player-specific stuff and character-specific um, details on ways that you can kind of um, make things a little easier for you and fix some of, like, different kind of execution um, issues you may have, especially if you're a new player or even if you're, like, intermediate or, you know, you're just trying to play with some new characters or step your game up a little bit. We'll get into all that later. Um, but for right now, I want to introduce my uh, discussion panel that we have so far. Uh, we have Malik NYC. What's up, man? What's going on, y'all? We're not too much. And uh, next we got Zoe, Alfonso. What's up, dude? <laughs> what an intro. So, what's up, man? Uh, I don't know, eating french fries. <laughs> <laughs> You're also playing online right now, too. Yeah. Word. Cool, man. How, how's things been going? Uh, it's going. Just so much work. <laughs> Word. Yeah. I feel you. It's all good. All right. Very nice, man. Um... Yo, um, let's get into some tournament announcements and news. So let's start out um, with uh, let's start with something that's happening this weekend, this weekend? February twenty second. I don't know if y'all can see that. Twenty first. Um, oh yeah, I see it. Twenty second. Yep, max out Kansas City. Um, they're having a 5v5. It's going to be um, Kansas City versus Omaha. Check that out. And um, I want to um, show y'all uh, or tell y'all the lineup for the different teams. And, uh, you got it? Yep, I got it right here. Okay, all right. Team Kansas City. Um, it's going to be uh, Casey's Notorious. Shout outs. Yep, he's going to be playing with Mr. Karate, Hua, EX Sayori. Ooh, the cheap stuff. Yeah, yep, yep. It's that money team. <laughs> Get that money. <laughs> yeah, and next he had um, on Team Kansas City is Samson K. Yo, shout outs to Samson. Yep, you're going to be playing with K Dash, Kim, uh, Normal Keo. That's a pretty nice team. He dropped He dropped Claw? Uh, I, don't, I thought he always played with these uh, characters. No, no, he, 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 he played a uh, team, uh, what's his name, like... SNK Poster Boys, which is like K Keo your uh, claw. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Maybe he did switch them up. Uh. And um. Next, Violent Gigamesh. Uh. Kim. Ex Keo. Ex Iori. They playing to win. <laughs> I know. It's a five v five. Yeah. Uh. Um. Next team member. No alias. Normal Keo. Takuma Yuri. That's the, dang. That's a good team. And uh. The last person on their team is. Radian. He's playing with Benny Maru, King, and um, Iori. I think that's Claw Iori. Yeah. yeah. It's Claw. And uh, for Team Omaha, we got my man Jamarvelous. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Jamarvelous. <laughs> yes, indeed. He's going to be playing with Benny Maru, Hwajai, Takuma. Um, the next uh, member of the team, uh, Ulai. I don't think I heard of this guy. Uh, yeah, I haven't either. Yeah, he's playing with a uh, Yuri, Mature, EX Iori. And next um, team member, Chris Henderson. You know, that that uh, government name. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something that's like, give me your social. Yeah. <laughs> Rio, Maxima, and uh, Normal Kyo. Um, next person, Jaquif. Uh Those who we know as um, Crimson King. I oh, think. that's that's Crimson King. I I think. Oh yeah, Dual on Claw and Terry. Yeah, yo, shout yeah. out to Crimson King, one of the coolest dudes. Yeah, for sure. Um, and he's going to be playing with uh Dulong, um, Clariori and Terry, and he's been playing with that team for like mad long. So, uh, um, yeah, he's going to be rocking that team. And next is uh, Nick. I think that's Freeze or Fraze or Freeze. Uh, I guess it'll be phase, yeah. Okay. And he's playing with uh, Psyche, 
this is Karate and Betty Morrow. And uh, they're going to be doing Pokemon style. Those are, uh, it's all pending, the format. So go check it out Saturday, February 22nd. Um, more information, go to dreamcastle.com. Check that out. Um, if y'all watching, uh, please like get a uh, archive or something before we can watch it afterwards. Or, you know what I'm saying? I might check it out the day of. But uh, yeah, good luck to the 5v5. Uh, next, Max Cancel. It's a bi weekly. And this is in um, uh, Manteca, California. And yeah, they're doing their bi weekly uh, this weekend. Check it out. Uh, next is, uh, oh, Texas Bar Fights. And that's uh, 14. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, every time I think Texas, got to do that cow. <laughs> and that's going to be in March, March 22nd. And uh, <laughs> KOF is going to be a side tournament, but it's a possible side tournament. So if you have more than eight people, sign up. If you don't play KOF, sign up anyways where it can be ran. That's a cool banner, that full gourd. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's that's real dope. And it's going to be at Jake's Burgers. <laughs> you know, that sounds like a pretty, uh, <laughs> yeah, where, where the beef <laughs> is, you know what I'm saying, get a couple hamburgers. Shout-outs to them. Um, next, SoCal Regionals. Hey, man. Hey, you forgetting something. What hey, brawl is this weekend? Oh, Winter no, brawl. no, no. We, we get into all that. We get, I, got, oh, I, got, okay. I got posters lined up, ready to go, man. All right. Now, because you, you, you would have did the, like, the time skip. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of shif- um, shuffling times. Yeah. Yeah, I should uh, do that next time. But uh, it's February uh, 28th through March 2nd, Irvine, California, um, University of California, Irvine, go ahead and check it out. Um, next, Winter Brawl, February 22nd, um, 21st, uh, 23rd, my fault, Essington, Pennsylvania, check it out, Romance is going to be there, should be a, a good show. What's next? Oh! Kings of Code. <laughs> Check out their stream every uh, Monday and Thursday. More information on dreamcancel.com for the link. Um, what's uh, next? Final round. And yeah. uh, that's going to be uh, March 14th through 16th, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead and uh, check that out. Should be pretty, pretty fun, pretty hype. And... Uh, Oh yeah, that Cafe ID Big Money Tournament, and yes. uh, that's yeah, that's gonna be March 29th and 30th. Dude, I think that's gonna be crazy. Yes, I I think so too, man. Like, look at Wait, that pot. It's the same weekend as what's his name, right? Final round. Wait, let me. Uh, the 29th. So. Oh, no, 29th. Wait. The the um final round is on the 14th, 14th and 16th. Oh, yeah. it's the 29th? Okay, okay. Yeah. I think another tournament that shares that weekend is, uh, I don't know, so far. Yeah. But, um, oh, man, look at that. $20,000, dude. First place KOF, 10 Gs, Street Fighter, 5 Gs. No collusion. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's going to be in Korea, right? Yeah, that's Korea. Yeah, South Korea. I think it's going to be there, actually, at Cafe Ed. Oh, word. Cool. So we should get I some think, like, good stream think, quality. Yeah. Don't don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Cool. That should be really, really nice. And, uh, yeah, we're going to check that uh, that stream for sure. It should be mad hype. I wonder no, how many but, people are going to enter. KOF? I was I predict I predict like 60. And there's going to be some strong players, too. It's not going to be no... Because it's right there. And, it, and Korea is, like, you know, right by Japan and stuff like that. Europe, France... So like all those guys, I think I think uh, I know Jan said he was going. I think, right. I didn't talk with him directly, but I think I saw it on Twitter or something. Yeah, he plans on going. It's got Street Fighter and KOF there, so why would he not go? Right. So you know, hopefully that's gonna be that's gonna be a really good tournament. Yeah, can't wait to check it out. Good luck to all the people um, planning to go. Oh, I hope my uh, husband Duke Verna goes. Who? Verna. Oh, word. Yeah, he should be there. I wonder who from the North um, America continent 
is going to be going. I think Reynolds said he was trying to go. Really? Romance might be going. Yeah, probably those two guys will more than likely be able to go. I know Lazy Freddy said he's trying to go. To Korea? Yeah. Damn. I mean, well, Freddy travels, so, you know. Like, oh, okay. 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 All right, Um, next tournament coming up. Um, Oh, snaps. Yeah, the third Steam Battle. It's going to be uh, March 1st. Sign up up at Dream Council Forums. The last uh, Steam Battle we had, I think it was last week. It was pretty fun. Go check the uh, the thread for the results on that one. And uh, I think that's uh, that's probably it for now, man. Uh, are there any other tournaments that Winter Brawl? Winter Brawl. Um, oh, we already hit that up. Did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Winter Brawls this weekend, y'all. Winter Brawl, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, and um, I think oh, that's it. What happened um at that, uh, the last team stick bug full boost? Oh, Pachu won. He came back from uh from losers and winners finals. Oh, word. Yeah, okay. it was Pachu A three and Shadow. Who did he play with? Pachu. He he was playing uh Ex Yori, Karate and Kim before he got sent to losers. But when he got sent to losers, he played uh he played he, he alternated between Ex Kyo and Ex Yori, and he kept. His Kim and Takuma, right? Which is, you know, two of his strongest characters. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, um, I think that's uh, about it for uh, upcoming tournament announcements and results. So, uh, yo, let's go into this um, this main topic. I'm trying to actually see if we can get this uh, this phone thing started. I keep getting a little. Um, a little error or something like that. We'll, we'll keep trying. But, uh, yo, um, how to fix your execution problems. I know everybody has some sort of, uh, you know, n- not everybody's perfect. And, I, I mean, I don't think we should try to be perfect, but we should try to be consistent with our execution if we want to play competitively, you know. So um, why don't we... Uh, Start with the the first question that I had. Um, all right, rate your own execution. How reliable is your execution on a scale from one to ten? Uh, Malik, what you what do you think, man? Um, I'll say eight. The only reason I wouldn't say it wouldn't be in that, like nine or ten because of human error. Like I don't think any even the most perfect machines drop stuff. So like eight is pretty. If I want to do something, I'll land it. Unless it's like a you know a stick problem or external problem, right? Okay. What about you, Zo? Mm, probably a, a seven. A seven? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Why uh why a seven? Uh, because I like doing <laughs> silly combos, <laughs> so <laughs> and I can't do it all the time. So it's, it's certain combos that I want to do that I can't do, so. I mean, I can do like all the basic stuff and like the mediocre stuff, but like uh, like the Kim full screen carry with two meters, I can't do that yet. So stuff like that. Okay, full hmm. screen carry with two meters. I think yeah, there's the, one with, with one meter. With actually, wait, I think no well, meters. Uh, yeah, you can do it with no meters. You can just carry them full screen with yeah. HD. Hmm. Does that involve the um that uh like a cancel with the hard kick flash kick or something like that? Or yeah, can, octopus yeah. made it. Okay. Like I can get like maybe two reps, but that's it. It's kind of okay. hard. I've, yeah, I've seen it in action, man. I saw Reynolds do it a few times in combos. Yeah, it looks kind of like like tricky, like because you got to do a lot of different little cancels at many different um like intervals and stuff like that, and you got to just like keep them like. In the air, can so yeah. I, I think I you have understand. to go like to the tip with a uh, D hung get son, and uh, I mean with with uh with D hands on, and then like you have to like delay it like pretty. It's a weird timing. I don't know. Right. Okay. You ever seen the one where um, I think James Jr. did this where I think it's the EX flash kick, and then like um they 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 fall to the other side or so or, or i think kim like goes to the other side or some shit like that it's, it's hella weird i haven't seen it okay 
Yeah, if uh, oh yeah, I don't think James is gonna make it, but uh, I'll, I'll ask him about that. When I saw him do it, I was like, "How the hell did you do that shit?" It was uh, pretty, hmm. pretty good. Um, but for me, uh, my execution, I don't know, man. I I got I gotta give myself a six, man. Like holy, like man, <laughs> I I do just hella basic combos. Um, I don't know, man. Like HD combos, I they drop from time to time, depending on the situation. But uh, yeah, I have to give myself a six, man. Like, I mean, I think my like tactics and uh, mind games are a little better than my execution. But unfortunately, like in this game, combos are like everything, pretty much. You know, it don't matter how good you are with the zoning. Like, you just you know fuck up once, boom, it's over. So yeah, <laughs> that's just that's just my uh, personal rating. But um. Have you ever had a situation where y'all will like land combos, like in a heated match, but then you can't do it in practice mode? Is that a possibility? That happens to me all the time. <laughs> That's why sometimes I don't go in practice mode for things. Like I only, only practice it a few times, and then like I, I, I'm better off applying it, practicing it, like you know, in casuals and stuff. Right. I, that work. That works better for me. Not that's not everyone, obviously, but. I don't know, like, maybe it's the way my brain works, I I don't know. Or what about you, Zoe? <laughs> no. <laughs> I usually, like, everything I I practice, I can do it, so it's not like, oh, crap, I did it. It's like, right. if, I, if I practice it, if, like, if I know the combo and I've done it a few times, I'm going to land it. It's no surprise combos. <laughs> oh, who's that? Yeah, what's that? It's my text. Yo, Nichi Joe. I mean, sorry, uh, Azumaga Dayo. <laughs> That's Azumaga Dayo. <laughs> where? Cool. Um, for me, yeah, there have been times where, like, in a heated match, I will land certain things, like Benny Moru's like corner uh, HD with like I think one or two bars. You know, we keep doing the Ido kick, you know, up down, and then you cancel into the Lancer. Like for some reason, when I'm in practice mode, I like I can't do it, but when I'm in that 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 like concentration mode, like sometimes it does come out. And certain links I feel come out more in matches than practice mode. Maybe because, like I said before, I'm concentrating a little bit harder. So yeah, it's it's weird, man. It's 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 very weird like that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you feel like your y'all like execution is solid, like when you get nervous? Um, uh, I I can rely on my execution. If I if I drop something, it's because I'm I'm being an idiot. But like, I like I usually don't I don't have any doubts. Like, oh, I'm gonna drop this or whatever. Like, gotta have, I feel like you gotta have the confidence, especially if you practice something. So, All right. Okay. Mm. So, what about you? Mm, it's just that my execution probably depends on the day I have and how much sleep I get. And then mm -hmm. I go from there, and I that's if I my execution like not a hundred percent that day, then I'll pick different characters <laughs> where it's easier. Right. Instead of like you know Chen, I would like <laughs> pick somebody else. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes like if you go too fast with Chen, then he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't do the cancels, and he just stands there, <laughs> and it's like okay, well I just got hit by a combo. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Um, when y'all like drop combos, sometimes what do y'all blame it on? Like lack of practice, like lack of experience, the arcade stick, like maybe the engine of the game lag. Like, what do you think? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I just drop it. <laughs> it's look. I don't. I mean, I can't say really. Just even probably not paying attention 100%, or and you know going on autopilot, or right. just maybe I'm frustrated, right. you know, stuff like that. I see. Just like not concentrating, pretty much. Yeah, just not concentrating. Yeah, I feel that. What do you think, Malik? Um, sometimes, well, I use a lot of sticks, so 
sometimes it is like actually me adjusting to the stick, not saying that, oh, this stick is bad. It's just like, because it's like sometimes I'll play with a stick with a tight grip and sometimes I'll play with one with a very loose, you know, whatever. So it's, it's, it's usually that. It's usually direction. It's not really a button combination in my case. And even if there's lag, I'm I'm used to playing online and stuff like that. So I'll just adjust. I'll I'll adjust like fairly decently to the like to whatever the whatever's being projected to the lag. Uh, right. I'll adjust to that. Uh, I guess I guess that's what I would blame execution errors on. That's it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. For me, sometimes it's like a combination of things, man. It's like um. I, I don't really blame lag sometimes. I mean, if it's, if it's a laggy matter, then, then yeah. But if I'm playing online, I kind of know it's a given, you know, that, you know, the game's going to feel different. So I'm I'm not going to be used to it. But um, sometimes, yeah, I do think it's either a lack of, like, hardcore practice, like getting it into my um, muscle memory and experience, like um, really kind of uh, pushing myself to do the combo depending on how I feel when I play a match, like if it's a close match, I drop it because I'm not doing that combo enough in that particular situation. So I'm always trying to find ways that I can kind of keep um, uh, keep experiencing that same situation over and over. And that way, you know, I, I can, you know, I don't have to monitor myself when I'm like doing a certain combo, you know, mainly HD combos. You know, mm -hmm. shorter drive cancels are a little easier, but uh, mainly HD combos. Sometimes they 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 get dropped when I want them to, <laughs> when I want them. So that's that's kind of the thing. Um, do you think sometimes like the input buffer and the cancel window causes problems of the game? Because I, I do know that the game stores inputs for a while, and the cancel window is uh, um, it's a little long. Do y'all think? That's uh, that's the reason why combos get dropped, Malik. I definitely agree, cause um, sometimes like I'll be blocked, like oh my god, like every Keo player in the world can agree with me. Uh, like it doesn't matter what country you're from if you can't understand. But like sometimes like you'll uh you'll want to block with Keo or something like that, and you get like a reverse DP kick or something like that. Oh. And, like that that sucks or like or if they hop over it you'll get like um up kicks or something like that. You won't and then like you know what the worst is you like when you're trying to walk up or when you run up and you want like EX command grab. Right. And uh and you'll get like run grab or something, or you get like up kicks. It's just like oh, what? Yeah. Like you'll get up kicks or uh reverse D P kicks. It's like what the like I didn't do that. Like the buffer still was, that that just happens, so yeah, yeah play, playing regular Keo can definitely the buffer system can go against you, so you really have to like take your time. Right. Yeah, I remember one thing that happened to me, man. Is um, what was I doing? I think I was uh, just trying to throw a fireball. Next thing you know, the freaking Orochinaji came out. I'm like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I remember another time. Uh, <laughs> um, it was a close match, and I did a back dash. And a freaking Neomax came out. I'm like, what the f Like, is my ghost, is my stick haunted by a ghost or some shit? You know, so, I, I mean, I think I was, like, buffering the Neomax, like, hella far in advance. And it came out, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that's one thing I blame sometimes is the, the input window. And uh, I think another thing is that, you know, the directions in this game, you got to be hella specific. Like, if you're doing, like, uh, um... Like a, like I said, like a super. If you like input like a diagonal or something, like it's not gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? Or if you don't like put in a diagonal, like if you're doing half circle back and you don't hit the the down back, like it's not coming out. So, uh, so what about you, man? Do you think the um, the buffer and cancel window causes like misfiring? Mm -hmm. yeah. It used to, but now that I got used to it, I know how it works, and not really. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oops. What do you What do you usually do to kind of make sure, like, shit doesn't like come out that you don't want? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just practice it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I feel you. Yeah. Sometimes, like, you know, it can be hard to explain. Cool. Um, 
Uh, what about some like tips for beginners to get used to the game's execution? Because I know that's a lot of people's like main like complaint. What do you think? Um, or yeah, so you can go ahead. Mainly just uh, you can't get frustrated. Like uh, it's not like probably everybody that's well, most of the people. What the heck? Most of the people that uh, try to play this come from. Street Fighter 4, like yeah. new people. So or horrible. Yeah, so they're trying to do like links and stuff. Like, that doesn't work. It's just rapid fire. So they have right. to get used to that system. So they're not used to that. The fuck? But once they get to that, then it's 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 easier than people think. Right. Because uh, it's not that hard. I mean, like, maybe some characters like Takuma and if you first starting out, then that's kind of hard. Right. Yeah, or Mr. Like Mr. Karate stuff, because I used to hit miss that all the time. Oh, what what combo specifically? If you remember. Uh, the um, um, his HD. Oh. Because okay. um, you know, you do the fireball into uppercut, and I would oh. always, always get super fireball because if you do. Uh, X or direction, like down backwards instead of straight down, then you do super fireball and do that cancel. So you have to do like input perfect. Word, you know, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Like, I have that same problem, but like when I do the, um, you know, the quarter circle forward into uh, Dragon Punch, another quarter circle forward comes out, another fireball comes out. So what I learned is I had to kind of hold like down forward and the you know the you know that um a and b to break the dragon punch and that's mm -hmm. been helping me a lot more oh. that's the reason why i kind of stopped messing with karate i'm like man i can't even do this shit everybody else can do it you know? <laughs> but now i'm like oh i get it now you know i got i got the the code <laughs> so yeah that's been uh, working out um what about you malik with karate or just like Oh, uh, tips for beginners. Yeah. My, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I just don't. Um, like Zoe said, you really like. I mean, if you can use your anger as something to, you know, like if it's a motivator for you, then go for it. You know, like if it makes you whatever. Because funny enough, I was actually watching PR Rock do some trials the other day and stuff, and he was getting frustrated doing the K trials. <laughs> and I, I told him, like the, you know, like the last combo, we have to do DP to. Well, you have to do a. Yeah, DP to fireball. I told him about the half circle back and the forward shortcut, and you could just do like fireball. I was like, "Yeah, do that." People are like, "Do the 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 whole trick," but that doesn't work for me. I I don't know. Like, I don't. I'm not one for negative edging that much, so you know. But um, I just told him to use like the shortcut, and it worked because doing a fire, you know, like a DP to fireball can be rough when you're first playing this game, and you'll just be like, "Man, I'm such a scrub." Blah blah blah. So knowing the shortcuts definitely helps okay. in that, and um. Just knowing, knowing what you can like, knowing what you can do with this game's buffer system, that helps a lot. Like, like for those, you know, those uh, DP to fireballs, you can just like, you can do the DP and you can like mash whatever button it is that you have to do for fireball motion. Right. Um, this game has unblockables online. It definitely does. But no, um, I agree. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like the, like using using the shortcuts definitely will help you. Um. I mean, you can use the whole button trick. I'm nothing against it, but I I just don't use it, so I don't know, I don't know much about it. Um, so yeah, using the shortcuts. Um, and just what execution problems. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other stuff. I think using the shortcuts will help a lot, though. I know I've said it a lot, but I I just wish I knew about the shortcuts when I first started playing. It would it would have helped a lot. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's no shortcut for double half circle uh, back. So if you're Athena, <laughs> you're SOL. You got to do that. You a man. Double. Oh, that? <laughs> that thing? Yeah. Word. Yeah, shortcuts are very, very helpful. We have them on our wiki, and we have a thread showing all the shortcuts that uh, you can um, you can do yeah. for many different characters. And... um. Yeah, yeah, they they can they can really really save you, man. Um, they can save you a lot of anger too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, question about um, like having good execution in this game. Do you feel that like the better execution, the better damage, 
like more wins or do you feel like you you know you need a little bit of like you know kind of a uh, solid spacing and stuff like that or like I mean what do you think I mean do you think you know somebody has good execution they're more of a threat cuz they can expel more damage mm, maybe but if they don't have any like if they don't know how the mechanics of the game or uh spacing then they suck <laughs> because I mean I'll win with like easy combos right Okay. Well, I mean, we'll say if there was somebody with like they they kind of have equal um, skills, good hit confirming, good spacing, good zoning, good understanding of um, you know what's safe on block, what's not safe, um, good movement, but one person's like execution's kind of lacking. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that that person is at a disadvantage to win the match? Uh, Absolutely. Not, uh, maybe. It also depends on what character you're using. Okay. Because, like, let's say, uh, like, really, ES Kyo doesn't require that much execution. <laughs> uh, Kim doesn't require execution. Billy, Billy doesn't really require execution. Uh, you can get a... Uh, 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 Rio doesn't really require execution. Just solid gameplay and fundamentals. Right. So okay. it just depends on the character. Like, I mean, I could see if somebody was playing... Uh, like Elizabeth, then yeah. Right. Okay, that was funny. I was actually about to get into that. You know, characters you feel that have good execution versus others that need more. And and we can also split it up between like normal, I mean, B&Bs and like uh, HDs. So, um, yeah, you said uh, EX Kyo doesn't really have, um, doesn't need much execution, do you feel that normal kill does? Yeah, much more than it is kill. Okay. They get at least most of his damage. I mean, you can get by with, like, basics, but to maximize his potential, then you need that, uh... Mm -hmm. You need that, uh... That execution. Word. That's crazy, because, yeah, I, f I feel the same way. Actually, I drive <laughs> normal kill, man, like, for good, for EX... You know, I joined the dark side, and um, yeah, his uh, his execution is pretty easy, man. You could just get by off of uh, doing bodega. <laughs> yep. <laughs> doing bad ex up kick combo corner combos. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, nicely space, nicely space bodegas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, because you know some people can't punish it, but uh, um, either that and what else? Um. His corner combos are yeah pretty easy compared to um, normal Kios. I think. Well, damn, no. I well, it depends on what you're talking about, cause like. I mean, yeah, Kyo does have some basic, uh, some really hard combos, but. I mean, you don't really need to uh, learn them. Yeah, that's true. Like even the optima, I feel like the optimized stuff for EX Kyo isn't even like technically like that that hard. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I, you I, guys I, should watch the Secret Society video for EX combo video for EX combo uh EX Kyo corner combos if you haven't. Please upload yeah, that tech. Yeah, I saw that. It's pretty good, man. Um, I did have trouble with the one um, and it's 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 a it's a combo that um my guy uh Unwilly showed me too. Um, it's the the one where you do the DP into Orochinagi. Orochinagi? Yeah. What's, yeah. Yeah, I, I had trouble, like, canceling the DP into the Orochinagi. Like, the the freaking double quarter circle four punch kept coming out. Do you use the shortcut? With the... Half circle back forward to the uh, to fireball, so you can get um, DP. Because you said you was trying to get DP to Orochinagi, right? Yes. Yeah, so you just use the half circle back forward. To forward and then do um fireball, get DP and then uh, Rochinagi. That'll come out. Yep. Have That's circle, what I. Have to go back forward and then a duke and then. Yep. And punch. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's what I do sometimes with uh, regular keel. Like when I feel like when I get the two meters or whatever, and I do like a a, a version DP and the drive cancel. You know, like D up kicks and um you, you know EX Rochinagi stuff. Like 
I'll just like if I don't if I don't trust myself to be able to do a simple you know DP into fireball motion with kicks, I'll I'll do the the half circle back forward punch, and then I do fireball and punch. And, I mean a kick. Huh. Damn, I didn't know that, man. <laughs> um, yep. Because uh, yeah, mm-hmm. when, when um when my guy was showing me, he was doing it the the raw way. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I mean to my recollection. So um, I might have to try that. That that seems pretty. Uh... That shortcut saves lives in this game. Damn. All right. So half circle back for punch, then quarter circle for punch. Or... Yeah, it's on our wiki. Okay. Which you can go, <laughs> which you can go and view on the front page. Right. Okay. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> yeah, that was um. Oh man, I was sweating bullets trying to do that combo, man. <laughs> I was like, this ain't coming out, man. Like what is what's the, like it'll come out once in a while, but it wasn't like consistent. You know, I, I was just thinking like, man, this is like, what's the point of this? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it, it seems that it does a lot of damage. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep practicing. Um, I think K Dash has it a little bit too. I mean, but it's basics. Like get his technical stuff. It's pretty. If you're not used to the with um uh, without without HD, it's Pretty confusing because you have to do the half circle back forward fireball. I mean, dragon punch. Mm-hmm. And to um to get it to come out. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, so why don't we go down the uh, the character list, man? Um. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do you think about um Benny Morrow as far as his execution? Hmm. I mean, some is needed because uh, if you do his jump D too high, then a lot of people can just punish it. Right. Okay. Malik, what you think? Um, I think I think you have to have a above average execution to be efficient with Benny Morrow. Like, he's actually a very simplistic character, but like, as far as like Tiger mm-hmm. Knee, uh, Raijin King loops, and you know, like. No one's really doing the back dash loops. The only one I've seen do that in game has been Yang Yao Ren. So like, because yeah. that the back dash loops in game is actually I'm not gonna say completely impractical because somebody's gonna prove me wrong, but it's extremely you know it's difficult right now. And man, I've tried. Just doing, um, I haven't TK like. It's funny I haven't like got into that man. I, I've been trying to do it, but like, That's I mean funny. I don't know how to get it. Started or what? Like, what's the shortcut or, or just, whatever? Like, just do it. It also <laughs> depends on what you're starting with. It, like, you know, yeah, he's right, but it depends on your starter for the the back dash uh, loops. That's that's the big thing, the starter. So, because you notice, like, on every one of the videos, they're starting off with a certain way, or like they go into the back dash loops in a certain way. You can't you can't just do it like you can do TK and can loops. That's why I feel like, you know, TK Raijin Ken loops are more practical. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Has to be specific. All right. I mean, you can if you have the execution like that, like, but no one is no one is no one is a macro, like I said, unless you're Yang Yao Ren. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, that dude, yeah. And his little sweat rag. <laughs> hey man. That? Time to work it out. Yeah. <laughs> Word, and his arms are like way bigger than mine. I thought I'll have like you know my, my arms are skinny. I'll have like you know a little leeway. Nah, man, he nah, man, he's, he got some big arms. He could just do that shit, man. So <laughs> bless him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast. It's so fast. Yeah, man, it's ridiculous. I'm like, dude, your stick is gonna like your RK stick is gonna be like more now, man. Like that square gate is gonna be like a circle gate like, in like, a year or two. Might be a sixteen gate. Uh. uh <laughs> Word. Um, so yeah, we have the character select screen up. If y'all see it, yeah, I see it. So, oh, another character who's hard. Who? Leona. Uh. That character is not easy. Because she, she says like it's a lot of charging, man. Like to do positions? stuff. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, there's I, a shortcut though. It's, that's uh, that's pretty easy though. You got to use them corners. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you're used to tr- charge characters in like other games, then Leona isn't that hard. Mm. But what's the um? Dang, I'm trying to. 
like I know it by like muscle memory, but uh, you know, to do that uh, or slash or grand saber or whatever it's called, you know, the four slash into the uh, moon slasher. That mm -hmm. you do, um, you hold back, press forward, then you go down forward, then up, or down Wait. back, then up. It's been a while. I forgot. <laughs> if you're I asking me, I, I I don't I don't play charge characters, so like I I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. All this right. guy. Well, I, I'll probably figure it out if I. Well, it's all it's all on the notations thing. Yep. So. So I'm um, next. It. Uh, Daimon, man. What, what y'all think about his execution? Pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, Nothing really. Uh, the hardest go? the hardest thing with him is just like it's more like timing things and like situational confirms. It's not really like. It's not a it's not a dexterity execution thing. It's just it's just you know like oh I gotta get the timing for that. The hardest thing to do with him honestly consistently is like stand B in a roll. Yeah, stand B roll and then grab and grab and doing like you know just stuff into roll like um doing hit confirms into roll and um into the punch version of his command grab. That's hmm. the most difficult thing. Okay, I thought it was just easy, man. Just have circle back, like. I mean that's a timing. That's also like a timing thing as well, and like have circle back for a kick, kick. <laughs> well, if you don't hit confirm it, then you just roll and then you get. Oh, you do beat the. Up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about full hit confirm it. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. I feel you. All right. That's why I said it's more like a, a timing thing as far as execution, not like dexterity, like you know. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Um, what do you think about Terry? Have, have any y'all dabbled with Terry before? I think he's too I hard. He, Terry? I <laughs> Shut up. Look at this guy. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Terry is so easy. Uh, yeah, I say he's not hard. Oh, I thought you said he's too hard. No, what? No, get out of here. I'm going <laughs> to say, what, dude? I played like CVS 2 and stuff and Third Strike and Multi Blood. Get out of here. <laughs> what about his HD combos? I, I know they take a little partition. Um, yeah. I mean, you struggle for like an hour or whatever, practice, and then. Bam, you're in there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and plus you have his uh, jump D, you know, and then you confirm and, you know, mad hit stun or whatever, block hit stun. Stupid hit stun. Yeah, so you got jump D, wait an hour, then hit confirm. <laughs> pretty I'm much. Okay, right now. Automatic, like, cross ups, just, you know, hope for the best. Stupid. And press a button. No guessing, you know. Just make the opponent guess. Yeah. Um, what about Andy compared to Terry as far as execution requirements? Mm, probably just a little bit more, but not not too much. Okay. Malik? Who are we talking about again? I'm sorry. My sound got a little knocked off. Oh, it's cool. Oh. Uh, Andy compared Andy. to Terry? Uh, Andy's not, he's, he's not hard. I, I, I've actually played Andy. And it's just the, the most difficult thing with him is doing... um. Like DP Dragon Punch into uh up kicks break. Okay. That's actually the I feel like that's the most tricky thing. Yeah. Yeah, some of his breaks, um, as far as uh in the combo in the corner, yeah, I, I think they could be a little uh tricky, especially some of the the longer ones. And I I do uh I have practiced his uh elbow into um D P slide. I mean, you know, his like kinda like little swag combo where he's going back and forth. I don't know if y'all like seen that before. Mm -hmm. That one is is takes a little practice, and it's, it's been wow. a while. Since okay. I tried it, but uh, yeah. Um, have any of y'all tried Joe? Yeah, oh. I I played Joe for a bit. Okay, how's his execution? Uh, ex probably the heaviest execution <laughs> in the game. Because, what? well, not only is it stun combo, is it height specific is uh, timing specific too. You can't just do rapid punches and just do it because you'll miss if you don't do it at a certain height. Uh, to get his um his his good block stuns down, like the uh, you know like one rapid punch into you know and then a link a jab after that. That's pretty. That takes a bit too. Hmm. But if you can get that, it's pretty. He's pretty rewarding because he has a re some really good block strings. Hmm. And since a lot of people don't really play Joe, they don't know what to do. 
versus it. Right. Okay. Um, what do y'all think about, uh, um, oh, y'all play with Billy? Man, next mm-hmm. character. Next character. <laughs> I'm being serious. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I mean, like, is, is sure, it, sure, about, sure. Dragon Punch. Yeah, but what about some of his corner combos? Those are pretty easy, right? Yeah, really. It's easy. just timing. It's just timing. So, so yeah, so he's more timing based. Okay, I feel that. Um, ooh, Ash. Ash I is think pretty I'm, hard too. Yeah, easy I, challenge. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going off of like um, maybe secondhand opinion and, and seeing other people playing with him. And I have a um, a player here in Minnesota that plays Ash. Yeah, he, he got pretty far about the last Chicago tournament with him, and uh, yeah, he was trying to do all the swagalicious combos and stuff, man, you know what I'm saying, all the little, the little pimp-tastic <laughs> um, San Cole or whatever San Yeah, like, oh, it all looks stylish, but like, actually, like, that's it, it just, it just Ash, though, the character, his, his optimal stuff's gonna look stylish. Yeah. So... Okay. All right. Cool. Um. What about Psyche? Nah. Not he's so more. Much. He's more of a timing character. Like yeah. to get like his. You know his two bar one hundred percent and stuff like that. Right. Okay. But other than that, he's not really too too hard. Okay. Um. Next. You talked about this before, Zo. Um. Mm-hmm. Rio. He's How's pretty simple. Requirements. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty. Pretty easy. Yeah, I, I think he has more of uh, timing based kind of combos. Mm-hmm. So I mean, they're pretty short. Um, his HD combos are pretty uh pretty good. Pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, they, they are easy. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do have a little trouble with the spacing. So I gotta remember to put the right like, you know, normals, you know, uh, command normals in front of certain things. Like he has a one bar combo that does at least like maybe. 70% roughly. But if I don't get that uh overhead in in time and properly um time his uh EX half circle back kicks then it will be dropped. And he also has a pretty easy uh 3 bar combo that does like 90%. The yeah. Light. Yeah, that combo is hella easy. You know, yeah. the hardest thing might be just to get the bars about that combo. <laughs> you know, if if you set them at a certain position, but yeah, he's he's pretty easy, I think. Um, what about Robert? What do y'all think? He's a timing guy because it's HDs. You really, really gotta practice that. Okay. Other than that, he's pretty easy too. Right. All right. Um. So, what do you think? Have you tried a little bit of Robert? Yeah, I used, I used to play Robert, too. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much timing. Uh, none of his combos... It's, most of his combos are rapid fire because you you just do it. And that's pretty much it. Right. Okay. Um, who's next? Takuma. Oh, Takuma, yeah. We talked a little bit about Takuma. Compared to Mr. Karate, what do you think, Zo? Uh, I think he's harder than Mr. Karate. Okay. Yeah, it seems that um, Takuma has a lot more links than. Yeah, Mr. Karate, he has. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the because he's like a damage character, pure damage character. Right. So if you don't if you don't know how to get his full damage out, then you're not playing really playing Takuma. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of times I do see people do like cross B, cross A, like fireball kick and stuff like that, or <laughs> you know, uh, um, cross C four B into super. I'm like, oh, you could probably you know get some bigger damage. Yeah. And like you can get some good damage with like minimal resources. You know that I've seen and that I've experienced. So yeah, you you got. I think you have to learn the hard stuff from Mr. Karate. Yeah, you do. I mean, excuse me, Takuma. But uh, I mean, but Mr. Karate, do you think his execution is um easy? I mean, by himself compared to other people? Um, like, mm, 
it just takes a bit to get used to because a lot of this stuff is TK cancel. Oh yeah. Like with the kicks, uh, a lot of people not people used to the dragon punch break, and then mm. uh, stuff like that. It's just I mean, but if you play Marvel, you can TK easy. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. Let's see. Oh, Iori, Clariori. What do y'all think about his requirements for execution? Pretty free. He's just at first you gotta you just have to get used to doing a certain motions, but it's pretty free. It's just like tatsu 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 or tatsu fireball whatever or tatsu DP. Yeah. Like, what whatever. Like, it's just it's a bunch of rinse and repeat with him. Yeah. He's literally just it's not like oh my god this is so hard. it's more like wow I can't do this. That's what it's more of. <laughs> right. What do you think, Zoe? Who is this again? Clariori. Uh, yeah he's. Mm, I think his corner combos are kind of hard, or with timing base. But other than that, uh, like his mid screen combos, it's it's like one two three special, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about EX Aori? Mm. <laughs> oh man, you mean the beast? Yeah. The, the Orochi. That's. <laughs> I mean, with a little well. I don't know, cause like I kind of categorize the character like differently, like with empty cancels and without. And honestly, if you're not doing empty cancels, and playing the Xuri, you're not playing the character. Yeah, you're not really maximizing his damage. I, I had to learn free cancels that way. I can be somewhat of a threat. You know, I mean, you can still do record, record, record. You know what I'm saying? You can, but down. it's still like that. Da- like this game, this game emphasizes like is that the meta game. A lot of it is like, yo, you gotta get that damage, dude. Like, yeah, get your Oki. And like, you know, Yuri is a KOF character, so he already has good Oki, but you know, he needs the damage right. on top of that. So what do you, what do you think about his uh, HD combos compared easy. to to Clariori? Pretty okay. Yeah, I, I think they're pretty easy too. It it depend like I said, it depends because like there's empty cancels one and it's not like hey, that character is he's yeah yeah. They don't but do I, much guess, I guess for for efficient ones. They're not that hard. You got to you got to practice it. Yeah, I mean, well, well, EXR, you you know, you got three or four bars. You know, you can do his little, um, little Louis Cha combo or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's what people call that's it. That's the best I, combo in the game, right there. It is, man. It's a, it's easy too, man. You know what I'm saying? The only thing you can probably <laughs> screw up is the activation and the timing, man. You know, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny people call it the Louis Cha combo. You know, I'm I mean, saying, I, didn't Violent Kane make that or something? Maybe I don't know. I think Luis Cha kind of like innovated it or so. I mean, he didn't originate it, but he like made it like a household name, I guess. Yeah, because it's like just hit hit super super Neo Max. Yeah, and he does that a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's his what? like go to. You know, he don't do no like reps or anything like that. He just put that little three piece on you. <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah. <laughs> extra spicy. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh. Next, mature. Hmm. I haven't really played around with her too much. I know her like her cancels, like her regular. Just uh, you know the how you do uh the swipe into that cancel. The ex. You know what I'm talking about? Into the exdp or no? Like you do uh the reka, mm-hmm. and then you cancel it so they like juggle. Okay. I forgot the name of that move, but whatever. But that's that's kind of just timing based, because I dropped that so many times. Oh, I know you're talking about, like that. It's kind of like almost like a link kind of, yeah. you know, juggle. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, you do. Yeah, Rekka, Rekka, and then you do the um <laughs> the metal massacre, half circle back, uh, light kick, right? Yeah. And then you could do it like a few more times, and you could do like close C. Yep. I know, yeah. I have, tr- I had trouble doing that, man. I was like, yo, what's wrong with my drive cancel? Like, it just, is, is, am I too early? Am I too late? Yeah, it's just, it's just timing. Other than that, she's like a, pretty much a frame trap mix up character. Yeah, she could be um, really annoying, man. Yeah, like, if you play her online, like, you could win with her. Like, it's uh, just, just like if you don't know how to play against her, you, you lose a lot. 
Yep. I you think it's, yeah, yeah. It's Chris pre- G's, uh, you know, like progress over here when he when he plays and stuff. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. 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 I played I played him at UFGT, man. Yeah, he stunned because like I was pressing buttons. That's how I lost. <laughs> pressing buttons after he did the little DPC, the little like delayed one. You know, like, oh, I can throw him. Or like, oh, my uh, close C's going to hit. Nope. The sling, sling, sling. You know. So I got messed up pretty bad. But uh, um, I have tried some of her HD combos, or kind of more challenging ones. And, yeah, those are a little tricky, man, especially with the um, the light kick, um, core circle back, you know what I'm saying, move or whatever, um, into DPA. And, you know, oh, that you one? Delay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I had trouble doing that. Um, I saw a video of Reynold doing that at a Yumacon. I think it was two years ago, and I had some trouble canceling. Uh, oh, yeah, he did that, that. versus me. <laughs> oh, funny. word. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I'm like, yo, is, is he, like, doing a shortcut or something, mm-hmm. man? Or maybe, because, like, that DP, like, it just, I, I don't know. The, the timing just felt too tight. Yeah. Overall, yeah, I think she's pretty easy. Um, what about Vice? Mm, she's easy too. She's kind of easy. I used to yeah. play her too. Yeah. So. Yeah, all you need is jump CD, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, whip, whip, basically whip and command grab. Right. Okay. All right, makes sense. Um, what about uh, Elizabeth? <laughs> she's kind of hard. Oh yeah, she's a challenge. Uh, she's like, uh, she's timing and execution at the same time, because it's certain things like, um, like you could do when she does, you know, like the slide, the slide back and forth. Hmm. Uh, like I can never get the command grab, like hit, hit, slide, and command grab. I can never get that. Hmm. And then on top of that, she you have to do uh, the um, the cancels for her swipes in the corner. That's pretty much that's height specific too. Sorry. Um, okay. Her HD is all timing based, and you have to like you. That's a really you have to just sit there in concentration mode, pretty much. <laughs> oh, you got oh you got to be in that uh that little um trance like oh yeah <laughs> word. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We have a local player that plays with Elizabeth quite well. And it's funny, when we be doing the combos, I'll be trying to, like, distract them. I hit my stick, like, da 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 You know what I'm saying? This but, guy. Nope. Ain't gonna work. I respect that. Old school tactics. Yo, James Jr. be doing that, man. He has his, like, PS4 stick. And the triggers, they're real loud. So you hear him go, I'm like, dude, come on, man. Like, really? You're like, no, man. <laughs> It works, it works. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. I I didn't really see him do it do it in com in uh in a tournament. I don't know, maybe I didn't catch him, but maybe he what? was. But then Kaiser was yeah, he was doing that all the time. He was just hitting those triggers, man. Right when you do an AC combo, just flicking them, man. Like la 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 la. <laughs> but um. <So> stupid. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's keep moving. Um, Dulon. Uh, execution. He's more of a timing thing. Okay. Yeah. Time. Timing. Yeah. All right. Uh, Shin. Shin Free. Root? Free. Yep. Shin Next. Wolf. Next. Right. Next. Well, <laughs> everyday play easy. To do his stuff like uh, you can do crouch short stand jab command grab, which is really good because people don't expect that. They only expect you to do go crouching when you have HD. So if you go crouching when you don't have HD and bring that out, they're like, oh, shit. And then that's when you get the overhead and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I used to do that a lot, man. It's crouch B, crouch A into, um, you know, command grab or whatever. But uh, I don't know. I kind of – I don't know if I stopped. I mean, yeah, I think I did stop after a while. I don't, I don't know why, man. Maybe I should bring it back in my – That's something you have to refresh because, like, I mean, you know, like, well – I play Shin as well, and, you know, sometimes I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I can do, like, crouching B, crouching A, or, like, crouching B, stand A into, um, into command grab. Like, that's good. I, I do I do it with super, but I don't do it into command grab. That's it's, so it's, usually, it's usually because I'm not in range for the, uh, <laughs> for the what's his name to hit, for the, the, for, the, for, the j- for the jab, for the jab to hit, for the command oh. grab. 
So like that's why I usually just I'll go to like super because super is gonna hit, but like command grab, you'll probably be out of range. Yeah. Have any of you ever tried doing his link, his uh cross B into cross C? Yeah, that's free. You can do that easy? Yeah, it's just it's just like it's it's a link. Yeah, I I know, but I mean it's, it's Yeah, it's yeah, no, nah, I mean like <laughs> So sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to be arrogant or nothing. It's just like it's just it's kind of it, it takes me to a Street Fighter, so it's just like oh okay, so it's just like crouching jab, crouch fierce, like <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Hmm. Okay. I know you have to be pretty close to get that cross C in, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. All right. I might try to practice it again. I always just had a little trouble with it. Like the freaking four B always came out because you know I'd be trying to you know get my little like buffering on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, every times I do the link, then I don't do the four B. So I don't know. It, it, it's kind of weird. But yeah, his HD combos are pretty easy. I think the only way you can miss them if you're like sleep or something. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Either sleep or like extremely that nervous. nervous. Yeah. Because I've seen people that have very good execution drop and I'm like, what are you doing? It happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember um. Sometimes like I would kind of misfire into like a super when I'm doing the um the charged um C punches into the um Corsica 4D HD oh you know boom 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 and you know I was just like misfire because I don't do it that much anymore I just do it like straight up like you know overhead whiff into quarter circle 4D type joints so uh, yeah he's pretty easy um. Kim, we already talked about Kim. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy. I think some of his longer HD combos can be kind of hard. Yep. But, but overall, um, yeah, I think he's it's pretty easy. Um, Hua Jai, I, I believe he's pretty easy. You have to kind of understand his uh, slide into DP because a lot of times super him is fired. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I I get that too. I'll <laughs> I'll do it too fast and I do. Uh... Slide in the super. Yeah, if it hits, sometimes I don't like say nothing. I'm like, all right, fine, free damage. But if it's on block or whatever, you know, I, I have to earn a little, you know, a little uh, on time. Um, With a pretty combo. Yeah, pretty much. What do y'all think about uh, Raiden? Have any y'all tried mess with him? Yeah. Uh, Raiden is. Uh, uh, he looks a bit challenging. What the fuck? Damn, yeah, we need a uh, King of Bums in here, man. That's his boy right there, man. If he's listening, he's probably like screaming at the television screen. I mean, at the <laughs> computer screen. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's not. Eh. Well, the thing is, uh, with writing, you just have to learn how to when to hold kicks, when not to hold kicks. Other than that, he's not too hard. Right. I would say tackle and uh tackle into what's his name. Shoulder tackle into uh, yeah into like like into charge kick, and what's the other one? I think that's uh, a yeah t tackle into charge kick. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh my. What do you think? Mm -hmm. She doesn't really have combos outside of HD in the quarter combo. It's like, um, you know, hit, hit, then EX, the e, the fire thing yes. in the mid-screen. But uh, her chrono combos are pretty easy. Um, you can pretty much do it. It takes a couple tries. Right. Do you think just, you know, her difficulty is mainly her options, like defensive and offensive, or... Her, her movement? Or? Uh, you just had to learn how to move with her. Yeah. Because that's her game. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, King. I play sure. with King. I think she's pretty easy. Frey. Yeah. I play with King too, yeah, so. Frey. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, her damage ain't really that good. It don't matter. If you're annoying with her, you can rock. Um, Yuri. I know you play with Yuri, Zo. Uh, she's not too hard, but um, it's I don't know. She's like a mix-up character too. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, her combos are pretty simple. 
Um, and she also takes advantage of the hold a button to do a combo when doing HD. Just DP and then hold first punch. And that's it. Word. Yeah, I do that too. Um, when I first start out, I do do two DPs or whatever. You know, DP punch, DP kick or whatever, and you know, like way. But yeah, I, I do the the kind of whole thing or whatever. Have like a little rhythm, like da da da, da da da, like da da da. You know. Um, I I did have trouble with um the when you're in the corner, you do the dragon punch into fireball, or whatever, into hard fireball or whatever. Like I I did have a little trouble with that, so I had to do the little easy shit, the little um you know the sci fis or whatever into dragon punch or whatever. But um, I mean yeah, I think she's pretty easy. I, I do, but her HD combos, yeah, you kind of need to get the timing down for them pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what about uh K dash? He's tricky. Yeah, he's just height specific. And like you know, he you have to you should use the shortcuts with him and stuff if you just can't do the uh the inputs. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about Kula? She's kind of easy. Kinda. Yeah. She has some stuff like uh. You know, like the, I don't know if people know about. Well, they should know by now. But the uh, what is it when she does like crouch, jab, uh, crouch short, to um, if you hit like a, if you hit jab, fierce and roundhouse, her her stand A attack, it does like three hits. Or oh you, yeah, like, you, can, you can mash rapid them. fire joint. Yeah, the rapid yeah. fire. Yeah, so um, she has that, and then DP and canceling DP and Satatsu isn't too hard. Right. Okay. Just gotta practice. All right. What about Takuma? We just said. We just said that. Oh, you mean somebody else? Maxima. Maxima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, tried, uh, him out. Yeah. I don't think Maxima is that hard. No. Like at all. He's. I uh, just gotta learn how to space with him, really. Yeah. So that's not really an execution, like as far as like combos goes. It's more like f- movement of the character. Yes. Okay. I agree. Um, Athena. I play with a little bit of Athena. I kind of mess with her a little bit. Um, yeah, I think she's kind of easy. Um, hmm. I, I, I do think her butt loop takes a little time to finesse some good dexterity and timing. Her HD combos take a little dexterity. They're not really too much on timing, but yeah, you, you kind of have to um, pretty much like understand um, how to use, you know, the whole DP and to teleport, like, kind of shortcut. Like, what I do, I just do DP and then press B and then the the DP then the teleport drive cancels by itself because of the the input buffer like we mentioned before. Mm-hmm. And she has some pretty cool little cross-ups. So, yeah, I think her execution is uh, pretty good. But loop. Pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like I said, with that, that's yeah, a timing yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 a little bit of dexterity too. I feel. You just yeah, gotta, yeah, yeah. You got to pinpoint that right time to to lay the the gluteus. You know what I'm saying? Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, y'all think about Kenso. Y'all tried messing with him? Yeah, I played Kenso yeah. heavy for a while. Okay. Mm, not too bad, except well. DP, it's uh, I guess that's more of a timing thing. Canceling his DP into a uh, lunch punch, right? Like doing those, like his 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 execution comes from timing as well. No Oh, oh like yeah, Kenso, yeah. Yeah, doing like fire, like you know, DP to lunch punch, and then you know, fireball, reka reka, fireball, whatever. Like the the good the good real Kenso damage. That's 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 timing. Right. Okay. Um, Chin. So I know you uh, play a little bit with Chin. What do you think about his requirements for execution? Yeah, it's just it's timing, pretty much, and with some execution. Cause this um the the way his combos kind of set up, they're a little a little awkward compared to some of the other characters, right? Yep. Okay. Cause I tried them out. I'm like, what the? I gotta do down down this into to that and what? <laughs> yeah, it's like uh. It's like playing She-Hulk and Marvel. Ooh, I don't really know. Oh, you just down, down, punch. Like you, like 
it's just timing. It's like a rhythm. It's like like once you get that rhythm down, then it's the it's real easy. Okay. What about his HD combos? Same or a little trickier? It's pretty. It's a lot easier than his normal combos. What right. the fuck? <laughs> what happened? I, I dropped my Takuma combo because it lagged. Oh, my uh, HD combo. But it's I, okay. <laughs> but word. yeah, it's uh, it's basically a rhythm with him. Once you get his rhythm down, he's pretty simple. Okay. Um, next is Ralph. Have y'all tried him out? Yeah. Yep. Um, I, I tried him out a little bit. He seemed more timing based rather than a, a lot of dexterity or very long combos. Yeah. He, he had a lot of links. Timing. I feel. Yeah, he, he does. He does. He does. But also in that, that makes good frame traps. Oh yeah, exactly. He has a lot of stuff that's people don't know about. So you need to like ex through it or something. Okay. What? Um, what about Clark? Uh, easy. He's easy. just a mix-up character. Let me grab you. And when you like his uh, his rapid punches uh, you know, drive cancels and charge punch aren't really that hard. Rob does. I mean, Clark does have a stun combo though, so you know, that's a bit of a challenge. Right. And he has an eight, like a, a decent HD, you know, ball of maid. And I think it was, there's, there's an even an updated version of that too, but like, you don't really have to do like, uh, what's your turnaround punches into turnaround punches? You don't have to really, that's not really what you do with yeah, him. You don't need that. You yeah, you, need... that's not what you spend the meter with. Like, you do better stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm so, uh, what about, oh, we already talked about Leona. Crap. Okay. Well, ah, yeah, yeah, I was talking about her. Yeah. All right, I guess that's, uh, that's about all of them. I think that's it. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yo, um, Zo, all right, with uh, with Kim, I have trouble with his like his corner two bar HD, ending it with the um, the flash kick, light flash kick into Neo Max. Like, <laughs> yeah, what's what's your like technique to do it? Or I don't even can you do, do it. it? <laughs> okay, because it's funny when I was in Chicago, um, you know, some, of the, you know, my boys showed me how to do it, and I forgot the the day after, maybe because it was like late, you know what I'm saying, and you know, when it's like late like that, you know, your mind is kind of in a different like dimension, damn near, because mm-hmm. you, know, <laughs> you you want to get to sleep, and I and I did it a few times, and then I woke up the next morning, and I couldn't do it anymore, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and I, yeah. I've seen people write it down, they say just like, um. Tiger knee it, you know, backwards, and then do the, you know, you know, half circle forward. But so like, Tiger knee the flash kick backwards. Something like that, yeah. Like charge, Tiger knee it or something like that. Then go forward. But like, I, I just couldn't really uh, do it. And then freaking James Jr. He's doing his shit online. I'm like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> but uh. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep experimenting around with it. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm okay without it. It's just some extra yeah. like style. Always add those tools to your arsenal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Word. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, what do y'all think about entering into HD, man? Um, I know sometimes you know there's the late activation and then there's the the late kind of you know when they kind of like slide you know for any tricks. To kind of get either or the other consistently. It's a uh, it's a rhythm with that too. Okay. Um. One thing yeah. I have tried for I won't get late activation oh, is like sometimes I just hold uh light kick and heavy punch after a normal. I I know it doesn't do anything. But it's kind of more like a a personal kind of like thing or you know what I'm saying to oh to God. to make sure that you know I'm not pressing anything else. But yeah, I just you know, do whatever, you know what I'm saying, then activate and hold it and then like they'll slide and then I you know, do whatever. 
Because sometimes late activation does come out, you know, at crucial moments. Yeah, wh wh what do you think, Malik? You said about HD activation, right? Yes. Uh, that's a, that's a practice thing. Yeah. Because I, I believe on hit confirming off of basically any normal. So. Yeah, like lights is just do it faster. This is pretty much like I see it like this. When I hit a light punch, a light kick, uh, it's pretty much like as soon as you hit HD, you, you press in fierce punch to go into the next part. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? And then for like like fierces and command normals, then you, I just uh I just slide. It's not not too hard. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, um, damn. I'm looking at my paper, man. I'm out of questions or whatever, man. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh. I don't know. Why don't we uh, try to wrap things up, man? Um, any final thoughts on ways to kind of fix your own, like, execution problems or ways that you have fixed your own problems, Malik? Um, yeah, just, like, going into, like, practice mode and just, you know, rinse and repeat and stuff. Um, I guess this, is, this could go along the lines of execution, but um, when you're upgrading your combos, um, you know, this is for anyone... Like even if it's something you haven't practiced or you see visually, like if you don't if you don't actually have time to go in practice mode and you know go to practice it, um at least watch it enough so you can ingrain it and then like when you play casuals or whatever, practice it there. Don't be afraid of like don't be afraid of losing games because of oh like I you know like oh I want to get the kill and stuff, but it's just like you know th there's always multiple purposes for people playing. Like yeah. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, obviously you want to play to get better and stuff, but, like, what are you practicing training for in particular? Like, are you training to, to you know, to, to lose less, to to be a, a stronger threat, or are you, are you training to get these, you know, like, these combos into your repertoire to, you know, to upgrade it? Yeah. And I feel like that, that I feel like that's really important. Okay. So just, like, uh, practicing combos that you're trying to do, Practice them in casuals, and um, and just scrape everything that you like that you used to do. It's just like, oh, let me remember this one combo. No, just just dead it if you're really trying to like change something. Right. I feel like I feel like that's the best method because if it's not practical, oh, well, if 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 it becomes extinct, then there's no point in doing it anymore. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, I agree with that. Most definitely. Um, what do you think, Zo? Uh, the same thing, and then all I do is I put in a button input so when I practice to see what what the heck I did. So oh, I that's know. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, that, I've been doing that too, man. Um, it's funny because like once I see it, I kind of know what exactly I miss, and then sometimes, man, I'd be like, I'd be arguing with it, man. I'd be like, man, I hit that, man, I hit that. You know, come on, how they gonna tell me I miss one diagonal? <laughs> but I mean, they're they're right, you know. You missed. <laughs> and one time, like I, I think I said this before, but like, um, I had a little trouble hitting um, like Kim's Neomax at the end of a HD combo, and the reason why is because, um, uh, you know, I'll see myself jumping, you know, what I'm saying at the end, and that was supposed to be a Neomax, but comes to find out, I put on the the, the input display, and I'm like hitting like a freaking diagonal up you know what i'm saying at the end of the combo so i you know i've been training myself to just like shave that off that way i can just hit that forward like hella clean you know without any interruptions or any disputes so yeah um turn on that input display and uh yeah i definitely agree with you uh malik about the um you know playing casuals and, and you know experimenting with certain things you know, just to see if you could do certain things in, uh, you know, casuals or whatever. So, yeah, those are some uh, pretty good points. Um, to me, yeah, I think practice and experience is just, like, really important, man. Just, just always get yourself into kind of uncomfortable, like, situations when you're playing. 
and then try to do your combos in that particular time. That way you can kind of train your mind to do them when they arise. Yep. You know, you know, try to build up that kind of clutch mentality. Because yeah. whenever you're playing and you you kind of feel a little out of your comfort zone, like that that definitely means that you need to be in that zone as much as you can. <laughs> you know, that that lets you know that that this is a a, um, a, a certain like uh, area of, of um, like potential growth. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you're out of your comfort zone, that means you need to stay out of it and grow. And do your combos, do them setups when you're feeling a little uneasy. And if you miss them, it's okay. Just keep trying. Like, don't um, get too uh, discouraged. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when I drop combos, I do get a little frustrated. But to me, it's more about what you do after you drop the combo. I mean, if, if you do, like, a freaking... DP or something or a Neomax and you're like negative frames or whatever, then yeah, you're pretty much screwed. But I mean, if you drop it at a certain, like a safe position, then, you know, sometimes you never know, maybe you can like hit them with the overhead or something, then finish it or, you know, maybe guard break them or something. So always think of like some sort of like, you know, um, worst case scenario, if you drop your combo, that way you can kind of regain your footing when you play. Cause sometimes I be seeing people, <laughs> they be dropping their combos and like you see them like damn near about to drop the stick or they they put their hands up like oh god I'm done you know I'm like no man you you gotta you know stay on guard even when they play someone else you know they get that you know the HD activation you know they're getting the combo laid on them and then they're about to like give up and then out of nowhere the other person drops their combo or whatever. And, you know, then there's this like this weird situation, you know, a deer in headlights type thing. So, you know, always stay on your guard, you know, when you're doing your combo and when they're doing theirs. Because you never know when they're going to drop it and then you can try to, um, you know, make some sort of comeback or regain positioning. Well, um, I think that's about it for this topic. Um, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what time it is? I got kicked from the room. Oh, ah, you got kicked. Yep, that normal um, of the show. Sorry, of the show. The <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's see if I can pop it up. What? Hey, 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 hey! Can y'all see it? Hold on, I got it minimized. <laughs> of Benny Morrow again? Yeah, I I had a makeup nice from last week, man. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. I hope it shows this time, man. I, I don't know why it didn't. So I'm kind of like. On guard, you know, with the screen share thing. But uh, yeah, this, this is uh, Stan uh, B. Mm-hmm. Really, really nice. No, oh, let me uh, zoom this in for the familia can see it. See his beauty. It's pretty good. Stops, hops. Um, can't really do anything against people jumping in on you with some fierce normals or whatever. But, Good way to kind of keep people out of the, you know, this certain range of uh, space. So, uh, what do you oh. think this hitbox should go? No, it's right at, at the tip of his leg. It's because it's maybe a little bit farther. Maybe. Right. Because sure. his leg does actually. He he has those dancers' legs, man. Yeah. What what about like like a little bit like this? That's good. I think that's good. Okay. And crush, uh, Maybe a little, uh, a little less no. horizontal. Yeah. Well, what about like? Does it? Can he? Can you sweep him? I mean, I mean, I've tried trying to like you sweep him. Sweep but he, yeah, you can sweep. You can sweep. All right. Cause, but like, you have to read it. Hmm. Okay. Because for some reason like, oh, it seems that like, like at this lower like part like. You know, he, he has somewhat of a little bit of hitbox or something. But. You can't react. You can't react. Sweep to that. You gotta read it. Okay. Yeah. It's, Cause it it is pretty. You know, fast. Start. It recovers. Yeah, decently. Okay. All right. Well, maybe I need to shorten this up a little. Oh, bit. what the fuck? <clears throat> yeah. It's uh, jump B, jump light kick. Normal of the show. <clears throat> well, um. Let's give some shout-outs. 
can get up off this joint. Um, Malik, shout outs. Uh, you know, usual shout outs to New York, shout outs to um, Georgia. Hopefully, I see y'all soon at final round, and you know, hopefully, I'll be moving back soon. Um, shout outs to you know, romance coming through. Well, hopefully, you know, you get here safe, run a brawl this weekend. Uh, something people might not have known. I'm just now peeped this. Uh, shout out to Dark Geese for uh, for coming back to the scene and stuff. You know, I, I I saw you inquiring about like you know, just things that have been going on and stuff. So hopefully, you know, you stick around or whatever. Okay. Um, Zo, what about you, man? Shout out. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> shout outs to KOF community. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. I, like, I don't know. I don't. No, that's no, that's cool. I mean, you know, you don't, you don't got no homies, so it's cool. All right. Oh, I got a lot of homies. All right, you want to shout them out? Malik, you, Romance for hosting me, Reno for hosting me for like a week and a half last year, over there the train, Corey Kim up in Atlanta, uh, the Florida KOF team practice with them a lot. They helped me get, you know, pretty far. Um, hopefully they'll come back and start playing again. That's pretty much it. All right, cool. All right, man. Thanks for being on the show. Almost last minute. Um, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to everybody listening. Uh, shout out to yeah, this whole KOS community worldwide, Midwest, uh, East Coast, West Coast, Mexico, Canada, Asia. Africa, Europe, <laughs> Orochinaji.com. Um, man, that's really it. Um, just keep in tune. You maybe do a show next week, our new time so, uh, spot, 8.30 uh, Central Time. Uh, that's 9.30 Eastern and 6.30 Pacific. So tune on in if you could. Um, check out the next Steam battle next Saturday, the first, if you want to play online. Um, check oh, out all the it. tournament announcements on the front page of Dream Cancel that we have laid out nice we and our, We didn't do our Steam battle. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we didn't fight, man. We'll, we'll, we'll do it next time. <laughs> okay. That night, um, I don't know, things felt kind of, like, laggy to me. Oh, I don't know. I was playing Final Fantasy most of the time. <laughs> yeah. It was, it like... But yeah, we'll, we'll get it in. Um, yep, go to Winter Brawl this weekend. Go to all the tournaments you can this weekend. Support your local community. Um, I'm going to try to get the um, phone line thing working. Um, it didn't really uh, connect. I'm going to try to mess with it next time. Every time. Oh, I don't know. This so guy. No, oh. it's me and Maru just sitting in the corner. It's like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's net play for you, man. You know. But yeah, just keep playing KOF. Keep supporting the game. Um, and uh, check us out next week. And that's about it. All right? Peace, y'all. Peace.